to the Empire State news film from around the world on your neighborhood screen today. Delivered via high-speed airmail. This is Aerotone News. Airborne shipping, the new king of commerce. Across all 23 American nations, old-fashioned trains, ships, and trucks are no match for the modern Zeppelin. Shipments have never been faster. Mountains, forests, and rivers? No problem for these luxury liners of the sky. But with modern air shipping comes modern air pirates, the scourge of the sky. Not since the days of wooden ships and iron men have pirates so cursed the world. Hunting the skies between the Americas for loot and cargo, and even the occasional kidnapping. But such villainy is answered in force. Government militias and private security companies have responded, raising their own air forces to fight the criminals, to beat the devils at their own game. Score one for the good guys. The Parade of Aces. The hair-raising adventures of these heroes have captured the imagination of the world. New York ladies' man, loyal showstopper Crawford. Aviation security pioneer, Paladin Blake. Hollywood blonde shell, Charlie Steele. Ex-pirate turned pirate hunter, Easter Whitaker. The parade of infamy, the villains of the air. Double-crossing ex-Texas air ranger, the murderous Marshal Bill Redmond. From Wall Street raider to Zeppelin bandit, the vicious Jonathan Genghis Khan. The pirate with a secret purpose, the brilliant and mysterious Black Swan. Don't let her beauty fool you, boys. This one's too hot to handle. And the undertaker of the sky out of Skyhaven, cold-blooded newcomer Ulysses Booth. But the pirate's short life of fame, daring, and fortune always ends the same in a twisted metal coffin. The battle rages on, but justice will prevail. The criminals of the air... What gives, boss? You, the world-famous Nathan Zachary, didn't even make it into this month's parade of infamy. <laughs> Trust me, Chaco. With what I've got planned, we will. Boss, this is Sparks. You still alive in there? Yeah. Geez, Skipper, you're missing the whole works. The party, the cookout, the women. When are you going to join us? I'll be down when I can, kid. See, I told you. He's not bugging. Give me that thing. Gee, it's Tex. Not only are you missing Big John's choice, eat, but Justine here says she ain't done with you yet. Nathan, where are you? We miss you. I miss you. <laughs> Chief, you played work too hard. Why, you only spent one night with the ladies. And what a night it was. See, blowing off steam's good for a fella. What I'm getting at, sir, is that it's been a tough month. We all know how sore you are about that rat Miles double-crossing us in Cuba, but he's sleeping with the fishes now, and you'll figure out some plan to make us all rich again. You always do. Tex, let's not ever talk about Lucas Miles again. Understood? Now I've got work to do. He's hopeless! Here, you try. Jack here. What are you reading now, Zachary? British politics, uh, shipping reports? The Secret Journeys, a Hawaiian oral history of Sir Francis Drake, 1578 to 1580. Got it yesterday. You see, you see, that's sad, that you need to get out more. Fascinating. Everyone thinks Captain Cook discovered the Hawaiian Islands in 1778, but in 1579, the English privateer Sir Francis Drake was here. He lost his largest ship, the Teresa, in a storm near here, off the Kapaui Islands, all hands presumed lost. Oh, wow, no kidding. 1579, cheese and crackers. You know, I'll be sure to tell the crew. Jacko? Yeah? We're not here for fun. We're here for treasure. Remember that leather map we pinched in Tortuga? Two years ago. Yeah, sure. How can I forget? I finally figured out what it is. It's the map of the Teresa's last route. Jack, she was full of stolen Spanish gold. And I think I found her. Oh, boy, you old devil. Everyone. Morning, sir. Yeah. 
<laughs> Say, those Medusas must throw some kind of party. <laughs> the kind coffee can't help, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, here's the whole works. Jack's filled in on the real reason we're in Hawaii. Drake's goal. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, I've managed to narrow the list of potential sites down to three. The first site is in this cliff here, on the Kapaui Islands. Hey, how does shipwreck get way up there? We're looking for the treasure, Jack, not the ship. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the treasure. The survivors may have rescued the gold from the wreck and hid it up on this cliff. Or I figure they may have buried it in this valley here, at the second site. Or maybe the wreckage washed ashore into the same valley during a storm. Now, the third and last site's out here somewhere, probably in this reef. I'll need only one wingman for today's mission. Yeah, sure, make me do all the work. Actually, Jack, I was thinking of taking Betty. What? Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> You'll get over it, Jack. We gotta give the new pilots as much flying time as we can afford. It's pretty quiet out there today, so I'm gonna give Betty here some tips on how to fly like a fortune hunter. Besides, Jack, I want you to ride with me in my plane. We'll check out each site from the air, get the lay of the land. If we find anything, I'll circle back around so you can bail out and verify the location from the ground. Yeah, well, don't come crying to me when she shoots your tail off or something, okay? Oh, you mean like that story Big John was telling me about you over Virginia, Jack? You know, the one where you shot up your own plane? Hey, hey, Remember hey, that, that wasn't my fault. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> what do you know? New kid's got moxie. You're all right. Betty, I'll meet you outside, airborne in 15. The rest of you, no more parties till we get this gold job sewn up. Yes, sir! Oh, what yes, you yes, Sites over there, see it? Stone carvings could give a guy the creeps. Fly close to it, boss, and see if you can see anything. There might be something else good down there. Those carvings are the beginning of a cave. Say, there's an old altar down there. I bet it has a few secrets. Golden secrets. Attention, unidentified aircraft. This area is under British authority. British? That's funny. I thought this was Hawaii, not Hong Kong. Leave at once. You will be fired upon. Say, pal, you need to learn some manners. Let's take them out, Betty. I don't like plane jumpers. Yes, sir. Looks like some sort of camp. I'll bet it belonged to a survivor of the wreck. Worth checking out, boys? Definitely.
Do you see it? That it, girl. That's it, all right. Now, that's the main treasure site. I'm sure of it. Jack, I'm going to fly over the site again. Get ready to bail out for a closer look. Jack is away. Let us know what you find down there, buddy. Pandora, this is Jack. Move into Site 3. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Copy that. Pandora on the way. No need to follow that order, Spark. Now that you've found our treasure, Nathan, you and your floozy can scram. If you know what's good for you. Your treasure. Nice try, sister. But this claim is mine. Pirate's code, fair and square. You tell Justine that spending a night with me does not mean she gets to spend my loot. Yeah? Well, maybe a little swim will change your mind. Medusa's coming in, sir. The Medusas have a cargo zeppelin coming in, British markings on it, probably stolen, judging by the state of it. Looks like they're making a play for the treasure right now. We have to stop that zeppelin. Are those spare fuel tanks stacked in the cargo bays? <laughs> they have shoot me written all over them. Good eye, Betty. If we hit those tanks, that should put a kink in their plans. Oh, and I almost had them. Be the end of me. You see any more Medusas? No, why? You looking for a date? Ha! I draw the line at dames who shoot at me. That's not what I heard. <laughs> to shame. So, how are you feeling after your first proper fight? You want to head back to the Pandora and call it a day or scout around some more? I'm good, boss. Whatever you want, I'll follow you. Welcome home, Skipper. So, are we rich yet? Looks good, kid, but we shall see.
Me and Betty's little scuffle with the Medusas have made us a popular dance partner. The spotters just sighted a group of British Balmoral bombers and their fighter escort headed our way. British? What are they doing in Hawaii? We'll deal with that later. Right now, it looks like they want the treasure for themselves. So what now, boss? Two things. Stop those bombers from blowing our treasure to Kingdom Come and find out where they came from. Oh, sure, we can just ask them. Excuse me, old chap. Mind telling me the location of your secret military base? <laughs> <laughs> first things first, Jack. When we launch, we'll hit their fighter escort. After we shoot down the fighters, destroy all the bombers but one. After we isolate that last bomber, I'm going to force them to let me board. What? Jack, you'll fly shotgun with me. I'll fly over the last bomber and match its speed. Once I've got us in position, Jack will take over my plane so I can climb out and jump down onto the bomber's wing and climb into the cockpit. Once I have control of the Balmoral and the rest of the fighter escorts have been cleared out, We'll head back and dock with the Pandora. I know the Balmoral's a swanky machines, Captain, but nice enough to risk your neck for? What gives? Now, I'm hoping there's a map, code book, or a talkative pilot on that bomber so we can find out where all these Brits are coming from. I don't want any more surprise visitors spoiling our plans to rescue that gold from the sea. Now everyone get ready. We launch in five. jacket before the treasure site is destroyed. Hopefully that's the last of them. The 
have gun control. Cover me and let's get back to the Pandora. Okay, you mugs, listen up. Thanks to the cipher machine we recovered from the Balmoral bomber, Sparks and I were able to piece together the rough location of a base. Now, Jack and I flew recon this morning and found this. Whoa, the British are coming. Wait a minute, they need all that just to recover a sunken treasure? I doubt it. Maybe King George has his eye on the islands. Looks like they're planning some play against the Hawaiian royal family. <laughs> like the Limeys don't have their hands full with Uncle Adolf and the Japanese. Greedy tea bags. The Japanese are precisely why the Brits would be so keen to force a colony down the Hawaiians' throats. It would complete their chain of naval bases all the way from Singapore. Politics aside, it's a swell deal for us. Take a look. Inside their dry dock are some of those new ZEP-mounted utility cranes Sparks has been dreaming about. Hot dog, Skipper! Those new Southampton D-88s are the cat's meow! Genuine first-class gear! That's why I'm thinking we need to get our hands on those babies. No kidding! Those will cut salvage time in half! At least. So, Jack? Yeah? Try not to demolish them, okay? I still remember Calcutta. Hey, you know the Calcutta thing was an accident? I, I had something in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now here's the plan. The joint's pretty low on defenses. Take out all these buildings along the rim of the burnt-out volcano. That'll send them running. And one thing, I saw an AA gun there. Watch out for it. Now down here, they're working on an airstrip. Looks like they've got some sort of forced labor camp set up, too. Labor camp? Uh-oh, now they've gone and made Big John sore. Him and me both. So if you get the chance, give those guard towers and barracks down there the business. Maybe we'll help out the locals a bit, too. Rooting for the underdog again, Captain? I try. Now, when we're done, I want everyone back aboard the Pandora. Any questions? No. no. Okay. I want everyone in the air in 15. Let's get to it! Over the main base in the airfield work camp. Over. Roger that, Captain. 
No problem. Reach it loud and clear, Chief. Hey, Captain, there's that work camp down there. Should we attack it? Over. Stay focused, Jack. We're here to take out the main base first. After that, we'll swing back here and deal with that work camp. This is the combo always work, Cap. We are under attack. Prisoners are escaping. Attention! All combo.
Good show, gang. The base is ours. Yay! Yeah, but we're not out of the woods yet. We've got the mechanical crews working double time to get the Pandora rigged out for the salvage operation. Now, Sparks figures they'll be ready by tomorrow morning, which means we're on patrol duty, and plenty of it. Swell babysitting. That's right. And if anyone comes along while the Pandora's in dock, our baby's a sitting duck. So stay sharp out there, people. We lose her? <laughs> well, it's a long swim back to the mainland. You got ten minutes to get your gear and hit the skies. Good hunting. And Betty, your turns are good, but watch those climbs. Gotcha, sir. Close to finished out there. Let's keep them safe until they're done. Copy that, Chief. If there's one thing I hate, it's babysitting. I never had a babysitter as funny looking as you, Jack. If I were them workers, I'd ask for my money back. <laughs> All right, you chatterboxes, get back to work. Some sort of submarine. Big one, too.
<laughs> oh, really? Now what are you going to do? Launch a torpedo at us? As you wish, pirate. Stop hanger, launch the fighter. Turret prepare to open fire. Sure. Wake up, gang! That sub, she's launching planes. Some sort of internal hangar. I don't believe it. Watch it. That's why I fire. From fire, whatever you've got into it. But a little hangar's bound to have something flammable in it. Copy that, boss. Good thinking. What's our status, Sparks? Divers, cables, and cranes all in place, sir. We're ready when you are. And the sky and sea? It's awful quiet out there, Skipper. Yeah, that's because we kicked their tea-drinking, biscuit-munching behinds back to the Philippines. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. We're gonna be rich, y'all, like Howard Hughes. Say, say, keep your shirts on. We still gotta get that gold up out of the water and aboard the Pandora. Sure. Sorry, Chief. There's been too many eyes around here lately. We're bound to be popular. Once we drop those cables, the Pandora's gonna be dead in the water for a good spell. So I want all you mugs in the air with me while the dive crews are at work. This is it, fellas. We launch in 15. Medusas. These dames are crazy. 
Let's get to work, people. Hit them hard, hit them fast. Roger that. Lead the way, boss. On your left, Foggy at 9 o'clock. I'm hit, but I'm okay. Over. Heads up, fellas. Looks like the gals and the friggin' are going for the Pandora. The Kestrels are sticking to us. Break off when you can and hit those brigands. this one easily. All right. But this is your last chance to turn back before someone gets hurt. Too late. I wish I had told you that before I hooked up with you, Zachary. Only this time the hurt is going to be yours, not mine. On your left, bogey at 9 o'clock low. How exciting. Try that again. Watch out, bogey at 6 o'clock. On your left, bogey at 9 o'clock high. Sparks, how you holding out, over? We're getting clobbered, sir. Nothing I can't handle, though. Guys, we're getting a beating down here. Fella could use a little help, huh? Oh, you please, come back here. Transmission, a Dr. Fassenbinder on the shortwave who claims to know you? Fassenbinder? Wilhelm Fassenbinder? Well, I haven't laid eyes on that old codger since Yakuts. Patch him through, Sparks. Patching, sir. Willie, you old coot, how's everything? Mr. Zachary, this is Dr. Ilse Fassenbinder, Wilhelm's daughter. Little Ilsa? And you're a scientist now? Say, is this some kind of gag? You must help us. They broke into our lab this morning with guns. We had no choice. They took him away. And all our papers... Take it easy, sister. Slow down. Now, who took who where? The Cheka, Mr. Zachary. They took father away in an auto gyro. The Cheka? 
That's tough, kid. Why would Red Russian secret police pinch your dad? What did he do? Nothing. They are volunteering him for their crash military research program in Siberia. Mr. Zachary, you have to stop them. Father won't last one winter up there. He's... he's sick. It's all right, Elsa. It's all right. You come to the right man. Now tell me, where are you? We've been working at the Boeing Special Projects Group. Sparks? Yes, sir? We have a change of plans, kid. Set a new course for Pacific, Whidbey Island. Yes, sir. Uh, sir? Yeah, kid? Was that the Dr. Fassenbender, the one who invented the Flash rocket? The very one. Really? Golly! How do you know him? He used to be chief engineer for the German Imperial Air Service during the Great War. And when he refused to build any more killing machines for the Kaiser, they dropped him into the same prison camp as yours truly to peel potatoes instead. After I started that riot and burnt down the camp slightly, I took the doctor east with me. He helped us rig up planes there, and we gave the Red Russians hell for a while. But now he's in a real fix. Well, what are we gonna do, boss? We're gonna recruit him into the fortune hunters, kid. Ha <laughs> ha, the hard way.
Okay, you mugs. Listen up. Today's fun. Snatch my old friend, Dr. Fassenbinder, right out from under the Red Russians. Now, as you know, he's imprisoned aboard the passenger liner Workers' Voyage, which is already airborne. Already airborne? What's the doc gonna do, Chief? Step outside and just happen to fall into one of our planes? <laughs> That's right. You see, these old Russian Zeps have a secondary docking hook here. It's only for emergency landings while the Zep is dead still. So it's too dangerous to hook up there while she's racing on all engines. Trust me, at full speed, the vibration and wind would rip a person right off that ladder. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of this. We'll need to slow down the worker's voyage by taking out half her engines. That should reduce her speed enough so Jack can climb out of my plane and up that ladder. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> we'll shadow the Russian Zeppelin until she's out over international waters and attack her to slow her down. After that, I'll dock at the disabled Zep's secondary hook so Jack can climb aboard. And any Zep who gets in my way is gonna be plenty sorry. <laughs> That's why you're the man for the job, Jack. Now, waiting on the docking hook would be suicide, so I'm gonna launch and circle around. Now, Jack and I will stay in radio contact so he can tell us when he finds the doctor and hustles him back to the docking area. As soon as I hear from Jack, I'll dock again. Now, there won't be room for you and the doctor in the jump seat, Jack, so when the doctor and I launch, you'll parachute away and we'll pick you up later. Yeah, yeah, I can hardly wait. After that, I want everyone to hightail it back to the Pandora. There, we'll shoot down any remaining reds and head for the hills. Since Jack's riding with me today, I need Tex and Big John to cover me when I dock. No problem, boss. Yeah, as long as I don't have to ride the silk home like Jack. <laughs> and get those turrets firing. Here they come. Let's break them up, boys. Workers' voyage hangar, launch Volga Squadron. This is a 
at half speed. Everybody keep the fighters busy while I hook up with that Zep. Find Dr. Fassenbinder. I'll circle back and hook up so he can climb aboard. Sir, this is Sparks. Unidentified Zeppelin has been spotted south of the workers' voyage. It's heading your way. Attention, CCCP workers' voyage. This is Black Swan. We have you outgunned. Prepare to beat. Sparkly! What in blazes are you doing here? Hello, doll. Fancy meeting you? Why, you plane jumping? All aircraft, attack! Hey, John here. Black Swan just lost her fighters. Headed her away and they don't sound friendly. Over. Copy that. Hold them off, people. We have to wait until Jack has located the duck. Boss, this is Jack. I found Fasten Beater and we're heading back to the rendezvous now. Over. Yeah, we'll make it snappy, Jack. An old friend unexpectedly dropped in, and she's none too happy to see us. 
old friend. Who? Black Swan. Swan? What does she want with an old Russian passenger Zeppelin? I was just asking myself the same question. Damn it, Zachary, you will pay for this! Sorry, dear, but you piqued my curiosity. I just have to know what's aboard that Russian Zeppelin that has you so excitable. Okay, you mugs. Let's down the rest of these Black Swan fighters so we can get a proper look at that Zeppelin unmolested. Bosses, Jack. The doctor and I are in position. We're at the landing hook and ready for you to come pick us up. I'm taking light damage. Over. You have failed. I'm away. Jack, I'll see you on the ground. Everybody else? Destroy any remaining workers' voyage fighters, then head back to the Pandora. Good work, fortune hunters. Now let's head back to the Pandora and let the boarding party handle the workers' voyage.
Let me introduce Dr. Wilhelm Fassenbinder. Yeah! Oh, no, please. It is I who is thanking you. You saved me from the Bolsheviks. I owe you my life. Bless you all. Doctor, show everybody what you were showing me earlier. What? Oh, yeah. At Boeing Special Products, we are working on the most amazing aeroplane, codenamed Blue Streak. I give it new nitrous oxide injection that gives sudden burst of speed. But you must keep very quiet because this is top secret, yeah? I think we should steal it. Yeah! No, no, wait. What about my daughter, Ilsa? We'll steal her and the plane on the same day. All right! Oi. Yeah. Now, all of Boeing Field is protected by Blake Aviation Security, so be careful. They'll put good pilots up against us. At 8.15, like every morning when they ship her in, Ilsa will be traveling aboard this train here. When we get close, she'll climb out on the caboose. I'll pick her up by swooping down close to the train and matching its speed. Once I pick up Ilsa, we need a diversion to clear people out of the hangar, where they store the blue streak. Uh, a truck collects fuel from the depot every hour. If we hit the truck while it's collecting the fuel, it could cause a chain reaction that will blow the whole depot sky high. With everybody busy watching the fireworks, I'll fly into this hangar, parachute out, and nab the streak while Ilsa pilots my plane to safety. After clearing the area of any remaining fighters, we return to the Pandora. Big John! Tex! I need your sections to cover me on my run. We launch in ten. Yeah, yeah let's go, let's go! Let's go. go. Just a bit longer, over. You're only making it worse on yourself. You're going cold, pirate. Nice move. Jack here. I can see the trucks, Captain. They're headed for the depot now. Wait for them to get to the depot before attacking them. Over. Ah, oh, so close. Curtis is just about heading. Over. This will be over soon. 
Sorry for the late call, fellas, but we've got an opportunity too good to pass up. As you know, we haven't been able to afford to fill up the Pandora's tank since the Miles shakedown. But in one hour, a Russian tanker, the October, comes into harbor chock full of refined fuel to replenish that depot we blew up yesterday. Oh, Our plan? Ground the tanker and steal her cargo. Her path will take her by this lighthouse, which she'll use for navigation. First, we have to destroy the generator that powers the lighthouse. A single well-placed shot into this cave on the backside of the island should be enough to knock it out. When the lighthouse goes dark, we'll light up a decoy. The decoy will throw the tanker off her path and cause her to run aground on this sandbar here. That's when the Pandora comes in, docks with the disabled ship, and grabs the goods. Understood? Yes, yes sir. Pacifica has patrol boats in the area, so we'll have to take them out before the Pandora can come in safely. Also, the Russians have an escort zeppelin in the area, so expect enemy fighters as well. Now, once the Pandora has swallowed up their fuel, we'll need to keep them from tailing us. We can either knock out half of their zeppelin's engines so that we can outrun them, or we can set the tanker on fire so that the zeppelin will have to rescue their comrades. Either way, we'll still need to clear out any fighters before returning to the Pandora. Yeah! <laughs> House now, over. Northwest fighters in the area. Watch your backs. Over. Pirate fighters spotted south of the harbor lighthouse. All wings break off and attack. Lighthouse disabled. Blood at the decoy, Sparks. Hit for skipper. Decoy is lit. You can't shake me.
Sparks just got this telegram over the wireless from New York. Go ahead, kid. Zachary, friends at Sacred Trust tell me Boeing ordered Blake to personally punch your clock. Stop. Military bag staging large posse at Boeing Field, Tuesday AM against you. Stop. Finally pay off my debt to you. Hope you die. Stop. Love Major Loyal, Showstopper Crawford, Broadway Bombers Militia. Stop. Yeah! So Paladin Blake himself has come to town aboard the Promised Land. A light carrier class military zeppelin carrying three full fighter squadrons. Three? Whoa, what are we doing sticking around here for then? Sit down, Tex. Planes are only dangerous in the air, you know. On the ground, they're just kindling. I'm listening. At dawn, the Promised Land is scheduled to take off from Boeing Field. Until then, she's moored here. That's when we strike. But what about firepower, Skipper? Once that Zep gets airborne, I've it's made arrangements blow with Slippery Sam. What? That shifty little number? What's she gonna do? Sabotage, Tex, sabotage. Slippery Sam is gonna sneak aboard that Zeppelin and rig their broadside cannon hatches to be locked open. I figure once we destroy three magazines, the whole Zepp collapses, along with all those fighters inside. And that's only the half of it. Sam's accidentally welding their docking clamps shut. They won't be able to get the promised land into the air for a week. Sometimes you scare me, Cap. The Zeppelin, the planes, and Paladin Blake all in one shot? Not quite. Blake is organizing the attack from a nearby airfield. Old Iron Bridges doesn't get out from behind the desk very often, but when he hears we're torching his Zeppelin, he's sure to come running. When we hit the airfield, they'll use this radio tower here to send a message to Blake. We can delay the arrival of reinforcements by destroying that tower. That should buy us a few extra minutes. We'll drop in over the coast here and head over the airfield. The more fighters we take out on the ground, the better. After that, head for the Zeppelin. When we're done, I want everyone back to the Pandora. We launch in 15. Looks like Slippery Sam did the job. The 
promised lands can't unhook the docking clamps and their broadside cannon doors are jammed open. Aim for those broadside cannons, people! Turning to target, over. Going nowhere, pal. Boeing Field is as pallid and blank. 
Maybe he has some hostages. We're here to take him down for you. Yes, sir. Get them ahead, sir. Take your business elsewhere, pirates. This is Paladin Break, and you're on my watch now. Steady, everybody. Here they come. Exactly. You'll regret that. Nice to meet you, too. Took some damage here, but still holding up. Over. Under heavy fire, Ricky! Heavy fire! This will be over soon. Tail it back to the Pandora before any more fighters show up and this party gets too crowded. You got it, boss. Keep heading home. Out. Sure thing, Chief. Big John, out. This is the Pandora. All attackers destroyed. You're cleared to land, boss. Boater.
We just picked up a distress call from a Red Cross hospital ship. From what we can figure, they were on their way to rescue a shot-down Zeppelin, a passenger liner, here, when they came under attack by pirates themselves. It's that new gang we keep hearing about, the Black Hats. The radio call said the Black Hats are using balloons to drop small attack boats near the crash site. Boats? I don't get it, Skipper. What do these fellows want with a crashed passenger Zeppelin? Ransom. The pirates collect the passengers so they can ransom them back to their families. Sinking the hospital ship is probably just an insurance policy so they aren't followed when they leave. There's no payoff here. But I'm going out to help those poor saps anyway. Anyone with me? Why should we get involved, boss? We don't know those people from Adam. Actually, we do. The crash Zeppelin is the worker's voyage. If we hadn't destroyed her fighter escort, they might not have gotten into this fix. Oh. This mission is strictly voluntary. No shares, no pay. Anyone who doesn't want to go can stay behind. No hard feelings. It's your call. Well, well, sir, you can count me in. Me too, boss. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. okay. You got it there with you, boss. All right, then. Let's go. Thank you. 
even more after I'm through with you. Another wave of blackheads coming in! And they're headed straight for the hospital ship! This could get ugly, Cap! We gotta do something quick! Bloody pirates! Behind you, you bitch! Watch that defensive fire! On your right, bogey at 3 o'clock! Prepare yourself for a proper thrashing! World famous aviation security's pioneer? After Blake Aviation failed to protect Boeing from two damaging pirate attacks last week, rival security company Sacred Trust was given Blake's old job. Jackson Mead, president of Sacred Trust, said the Americas will always respect Paladin Blake. But Blake Aviation's many recent failures to protect their clients from pirates prove that they have neglected to grow at the times. The people of the Americas deserve protection. They deserve Sacred Trust. Dateline Burbank, nation of Hollywood. Millionaire Howard Hughes takes off in his latest aeroplane in an attempt to beat Wiley Post's around the world speed record. And while Hughes's head is in the clouds, Hollywood producer and businessman extraordinaire Johnny Johnson holds down the board, running all aspects of Hughes Aircraft Company and Colossal Studios. Hollywood is a modern country, self-sufficient with her own state-of-the-art air militia, flying in the latest airplanes designed and built right here. No, we aren't susceptible to pirate lowlife like other nations. We are safe. Dateline London, England. Neville Chamberlain becomes new prime minister in... Johnny Johnson, you've been a pompous ass since the day I met you on Wall Street. Well, it's time I took you down a notch or two. Safe? Oh, we'll see about that.
As you heard, my old pal Johnny Johnson invited us to Hollywood. So two days ago, we snuck Betty onto the lot of colossal pictures disguised as a wannabe actress to see what she could dig up on my old Wall Street rival. Well, she hit the jackpot. Betty, tell the crew what happened. Okay, I'm on the set, see, snooping around. Bam! I bump right into my first movie star, Lana Cooper herself. Turns out Miss Cooper's from Brooklyn, too, so we got plenty to talk about. Anyway, we share a bottle one night, and she starts spilling the beans. Imagine me and Lana Cooper, I know. So get this. She hates working for Howard Hughes ever since Johnny took over. That big shot thinks he's God's gift to movie stars, but he ain't. Says she wishes she could get out of her contract, but Johnny and his goons won't even let her leave the studio. Anyway, I give her my backup wireless, and I tell her I know some shady characters who might be able to help her out if she's serious. Those shady characters would be us. <laughs> and she is serious. We're going to rescue Lana Cooper from her contract and bring her to the Pandora. We'll wine and dine her here, she'll love it. Meanwhile, Johnny will be having fits as this production is ground to a halt without his number one star. <laughs> the plan is simple. Jack and I will fly to the lot and blow open the main gate. Big John will be driving a ground limo here. You drive the limo to Miss Cooper's trailer and knock out those bodyguards. After you've got her and her trailer, exit the rear gate and drive up into the Hollywood Hills behind the Hollywood sign. Jack and I will clear the way for you. We'll have a plane waiting for you at the airstrip. Once you take off, me and Jack will help you get her safely back to the Pandora. Any questions? Good. Then let's get to it. Boater.
boater.
Scout out ahead of us and see if our way is clear. Over. Calling all security forces. Miss Cooper's trailer has exited the film lot. Repeat, they have exited out the rear gate. This is a security response squadron. We hear you, base. We are en route to intercept the kidnappers. I got him, I got him.
playing the corner. Hollywood Knight came out of nowhere and wrecked it on the field. This is the Hollywood Knight Squadron. Your escape plan has been spoiled. Surrender at once. Now what, boss? I've got an idea. Get moving or you'll be a sitting duck for these Hollywood Knight fighters. Turn around and head back down the hill. You got it. What's the plan, boss? Turn back onto the road and hold to steady speed. I'm going to have to come down there and pick you up. If you say so, boss. Putting the pedal to the metal. All here. We're headed home. Wow! You put on one swell show, Skipper. Who needed the movies with you around? You're clear to land.
As you know, with Miss Cooper's coaching, we were able to get Betty a small part in a new movie being shot on Johnny's lot. She traded in her flight suit for a bathing suit, and I have to say, she looks good. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, Chief, I wanted to go. No offense, Tex, but uh, you're too skinny for the movies. <laughs> <laughs> After the Lana Cooper disaster, that high-hat Johnny Johnson thinks he's gonna save face with a new publicity stunt. Brother, is he wrong. Johnny's gonna show off his pride and joy tonight. The world's largest plane, the Spruce Goose. The big reveal is the talk of the town. All the newspaper, radio, and newsreel people are already swarming the joint. This is where we come in. We're gonna swipe Johnny's plane before he gets a chance to unveil it. Oh, Cap, you're bad, you're bad. Thank you. <laughs> the plane, uh, seaplane actually, is stored in this hangar here. Thanks to Betty's new backstage pass, she can get inside and commandeer it. But she needs our help to get out. The only way to blow open these heavy doors is from the inside. Betty says these fake torches are fueled by huge propane tanks. I'll fly in through the back of the hangar and blow those tanks. That should open them. And if they don't? I'll crash into those doors at full speed. Talk about your short missions. <laughs> yeah. Once the hangar is open, Betty will fire up the Spruce Goose and taxi her down this channel out into the Pacific. Once Betty's airborne, we need to clear out any enemy fighters in the area so she can safely get out to sea. We'll rendezvous with her later. Any questions? Good. Let's get to it.
Eagles are trying to shoot out the Spruce Goose's engines. We better learn them some manners before they stop Betty's getaway. everybody. Mission accomplished.
Johnny Johnson broadcast this on stations all over the Americas today. Sparks, patch it through so everyone can hear it. Hey, Nathan Zachary, Johnny Johnson here. I'm hosting a little get-together at Hughes Field Friday morning, and you're invited. It's a high-class air race to settle once and for all who's the best of the best. I've pulled some strings at the Capitol, and the nation of Hollywood's agreed to drop all current criminal charges against you if you enter the race. I'm even giving every contestant a brand new fury so the race is fair. Skill versus skill. Everybody's going to be there, Steele, Crawford, Redmond, Kahn, Black Swan. Even I'll be in the race. Oh, it won't be the same without you, but I'll understand if you're too lily-livered to show your face. That's plenty, Steele. Thanks. The race is one of those simple fly-through-the-course deals. Each obstacle must be flown through in succession. There's also a $4,000 prize, but I doubt we'll ever see it. You shouldn't do it, Cap. You know it's a trap. I'm sure of it. Which is why I want you guys to be on station just outside the race area. When I call for you, help me get out of there. I meant Charlie Steele, boss. I'm worried about you and her. Jack, that was years ago. I won't let her distract me again. You better not. Because I'm not in the mood to rescue you. Again. Knock him dead, Captain. Thanks, little guy. Attention contestants, the challenge will begin in five, four, three, two, one, go! And they're off! The first plane to complete the obstacle course wins the Johnson Cup! I am the greatest pilot in the world. I will best you all. It's party time. Eat my dust. They're through the first obstacle neck and neck. This is anybody's race, folks. You think you're so hot, Zachary. Well, I will fly you into the ground. Oh, Marshal Bill Redman went out a little wide there. That will cost him. Yeah, you call that boy? Bow down to the con so I can shame you. Zachary is ahead of the pack as he successfully navigates another obstacle. Oh, Marshal Bill Redman went out a little wide there. That will cost him. That doesn't impress me, Zachary. You all know I'm the best pilot. This will prove it once and for all. Zachary leads the pack through another obstacle. Genghis Khan jockeys for position and cuts to the inside. navigates another obstacle successfully. A nice move by Showstopper Crawford. You think that's good, Nathan? Watch closely. I'm going to show you who the real fancy flyer is. Nathan Zachary clears another obstacle. The pack is trailing. That was almost a mid-air collision. Crawford and the Black Swan trade paint through that obstacle. Nathan Zachary navigates yet another obstacle successfully. Charlie Steele cuts through traffic and moves up a few places in the pack. Charlie Steele cuts through traffic and moves up a few places in the pack.
Zachary clears the last obstacle in first place. Ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Zachary wins the Johnson Cup. What an upset. <laughs> you might be the victor, but you won't have long to enjoy the spoils. To all contestants, I will pay $10,000 to the first person to shoot down Nathan Zachary. At last, we've been waiting for the day to get a shot at you, Zachary. Those bastards, they won't get away with this. We'll defend you, Zachary. Sorry, Zachary, my plane is too damaged. I'm bailing out. I will be revenged. Not a chance, baby. Come to Papa, baby. You bested me. Oh, now you've made me sore, real sore. I'm out of the fight. Ah, doggy! Come to Papa, baby.
Now we know the real reason for the race. Keep us here long enough for them to locate the Pandora. I'm afraid I underestimated Johnny. He's smarter than he looks. I tried to tell you, but do you listen to your old friend, Jack? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, Chief. It'll give us a chance to rub Johnson's snotty nose in the Hollywood dust, too. We can't let you have all the fun. Johnny's sending in his big military zeppelin, the Gemini, to intercept us. Holy cats, look at the size of that thing! The Gemini will probably send fighters ahead to try and soften up the Pandora, so we need to protect her, especially her engines. When the Gemini moves in, we'll give her a dose of her own medicine by taking out some of her engines. The slower she's moving, the better the Pandora's chances. The Pandora can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a bruiser like the Gemini, so we'll have to even the odds a bit. A couple of well-placed rockets into her broadside cannon hatches is sure to set off some ammo magazines. Ah, oh, just like Blake Zeppelin in Pacifica. That's right. Aw, oh, be careful out there, fellas. I don't know what I would do with myself if anything happened to my old girl. Gin up, Sparks. We'll give them the business, right, gang? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right. away from the Pandora's engine. Uh, you remember? 
remember what happened to the promised land, don't you? Do I? <laughs> Thanks for keeping the fun jobs for us, Captain. Good idea, sir. If we slow her down, that'll give us more time to help Pandora even the odds. No doubt about it. We're heading that Zeppelin boss and their speed is going way down. The Jim and I launch for more fighters.
We're in a tight spot. The Pandora took it on the chin in the last couple of fights, and we're fresh out of supplies to repair her. The patches in the gas bags are barely holding, and half the engines are out of commission. The old girl never makes Skyhaven in this shape. Not to worry, kid. I have a plan. We're flying recon. Texan Bucks spotted a cargo zeppelin, the Figueroa, that will cross our path in about an hour. She's big enough to tow us deep into free Colorado, where we can limp into Skyhaven by ourselves. Sounds real easy. What's the catch? The Figueroa is protected by Blake Aviation Security. Aww. Aww. Damn. Texan Buck saw two sections of Blake fighters in the air. I figure there's at least two more off-duty and docked on the Zep. Now, these fellas are pros, so watch yourselves. No sweat, boss. We took Blake down before, we'll do it again. The Figueroa's carrying the wreck of a Zeppelin that will only slow us down, so I'll get rid of it by shooting out the cables holding the wreck in place. Show off. <laughs> all right, now, all right, now listen up. Especially you, Jack. We must keep damage to the Figueroa at a minimum. We need at least six of the engines and three of the gas bags to survive for her to tow us. Concentrate on hitting the Figueroa's gun turrets. Once things look hopeless for them, they'll surrender. We hope. Once we get the area secure, we'll send in the Balmoral. She'll be carrying a crew of boarders who will airdrop onto the Zep and move to take her over. Once she's ours, we'll need to keep her safe and sound. Tex, you'll be flying the Balmoral. No problem, boss. As long as you keep them Blake boys off us. Hey, you think Blake will be a problem once we got the Zep under our control? Bet on it. Any Blake forces left might try to disable Figaro once we've got her. Blake pilots aren't ones to back down easily. Best to take them out as soon as possible. Sounds like my kind of fun. We need to pull this off without a hitch or it's gonna be a long walk to Colorado. Now let's gear up and get out there. Attention BSA Figueroa, this is Nathan Zachary of the Fortune Hunters. Stand down and prepare to be boarded. This is Captain Arthur Wallace of the Figueroa. Scram pirate, if you know what's good for you. No can do, Wallace. Our Zeppelin's got a flat, so I'm afraid we're gonna need to borrow yours for a spell. Cable 
to a way. Look at that junk go. Watch it. That's live fire. That's the last cable. Figueroa is clear. Damn it, Zachary. There goes my commission. Maybe you should get into a new line of business. All right, fortune hunters. Let's clear out the rest of these fighters so the boarding party can get through. We still got those Zeppelin turrets to destroy. Once the Zeppelin is disarmed, Tex can drop the boarding party. That's all the turrets, boss. Nice work. You're on, Tex. You're clear to begin your run. I'll cover you. Roger that, Chief. We're all right. All playing escorts, this is Captain Wallace. The pirates have a bomber incoming and appear to be attempting to board. Launch more fighters and get that bomber. Take a look at that, boss. Figueroa's dropping birds. All right, people, the target has new escorts. Stick to the plan. Keep your I'm taking a beating here. Any kind of help would be nice. Good morning, Elsa. I just saw you outside, test flying the blue streak. So, how do you like her? Fastest plane I ever flew. Like sitting on lightning. Your work is impressive. Thank you. Now I have a question for you. Why weren't you out in the bars and shops with the rest of the crew last night? It's awfully early to be working. I have some stubborn stress calculations to work out, yes? Stress calculations? Ilsa, you're breaking time-honored pirate tradition. We come here to Sky Haven to buy and sell, party and recuperate, not to work. Like you, test flying experimental aircraft at five in the morning. <laughs> Touche, Miss Fassenbender. Please, 
call me Ilse. Who knew that being a pirate was so much work? We have a saying back home. Birds of prey do not sing. Mm, all too true. But even songbirds need to be taught. Maybe you could help me learn a tune someday? What the? Seattle was very disappointing, Ethan. I am tempted to take my revenge. Black Swan, that wasn't meant to be personal. Just business as usual. I was hunting those jewels for three months. Sorry. How was I to know I was jumping your claim? Nathan, you haven't introduced me to your little friend. I see we're going for German playthings now. Ah, uh, Nathan's little friend was just getting back to work. You two obviously have lots to talk about. And sorry to disappoint you, Miss Swan, but I'm just a scientist. We can't all be playthings now, can we? <laughs> well chosen, Nathan. She hasn't spunk. Would you like to review the rest of my crew? Speaking of your crew, do you know where they are? Come again? Your pilots. Have they come back from last night's carousing? Actually, now that you mention it, no. Well, mine are gone too. And they're never out this late. Not all of them, at least. Same here. Hey, we better look into this. I thought you'd never ask. Any signs of them yet? Over. Negative. Anyone hear me? Hello? Pandora, this is Sparks. Somebody answer. Uh, is he Swan? There's Sparks now. Probably calling to get bail money for the gang. Go ahead, kid. What gives? You had us worried there for a minute. Boy, am I glad to hear you, Skipper. I'm in deep trouble. Huh. What's the matter, Sparks? You boys get into too much fun last night over at Sweet Sally's? No, boss. On the level. We got jumped by a whole bunch of goons on our way home. Remember the Black Hat Squadron? It was them, and they're all creeping.
grapes, if you ask me. Where are you now? I don't know about the rest of the crew, but me? I got away during the mix-up. Couldn't get to the plane, so I hopped the gold train heading for Sky Haven, the Rocky Express. I, I don't think they saw me. Kid, you stay put. We'll come pick you up right now. Thank you, sir. Holy Toledo! Oh, no, boss! Sparks? Sparks, come in, kid. You were saying, darling? All right, all right, I was wrong. Again. Okay, you've had your fun. Now look, I know you've got your own mess to deal with, but... Stop talking and keep flying, Nathan. Of course I'll help you. All right. There's only one set of tracks circling Sky Haven. If they're in radio range, they can't be too far. I'm curious. How do you propose to get your man off the train? I'm sure I'll think of something. Say, we can always do the old ladder trick again. Ladder trick? Sure. Drop a ladder, fly over the target, target grabs the ladder, away you go. Learned that one from Rolo the Flying Clown during my barnstorming days. Oh, heaven help us. Indeed. Now follow me. I know the way. Sharp, Swan. No telling what kind of trouble we'll run into out here. Speak of the devil. Look. Black hat. She is that creep. We've had quite enough of you boy scouts jumping our claims. Bugger off. This gold train is ours. I'm going to do a lot worse than jump your claim, you monkey. Where's my crew? And what's the big idea of your gang jumping my gang anyway? Right. That's one too many questions. You're dead this time, mate. Enemy three o'clock high. You're right, enemy three o'clock. Head on, enemy twelve o'clock. Are you nearly have this one over? It's nothing, just a scratch. You stirred the hornet's nest, darling. Watch those turrets! 
We'll need to disable those to pull this off, Nathan. That is look who's flying at Sacred Trust. Hey, Battery Black Swan, what are you two doing here? Where are the Black Hats? Expecting someone? Funny. Pirates don't usually make appointments with their things. I thought you sacred trust boys were in the protection pool. Not the other one. Wow. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you do. But the newspapers will. Careful, Zachary. Did men kill no tales, you know? Yeah. We'll see about that tough guy. Hey, sir. We are in the lousy fix here. Should I call for backup? No one will make it in time. It's up to us to pull off this heist. by the fortune hunters. You're in for it now, Pally. That's the last of them. Good riddance. Sparks to Zachary! Sparks to Zachary! Over! Holy Toledo, boss, it's Sparks! The engine down here has been hit by a stray shot! She's gonna blow any second! Hold on, kid! I'll have you out of there in two shakes! There goes the last gun! Sparks, you read me? Loud and clear, sir! Get up on the roof of the train now! I'm gonna fly low and you're gonna grab my ladder! Got it? Ladder? Oh, uh, whatever you say. Over. There he is, Nathan. On top of that train car there. I see. Hurry, Nathan, you're running out of time. Clown for that one, kid. Uh, well, we've had our fun for the day. Well, I called in a few markers and managed to pick up the skinny on these black hat characters. And? Word around town is that the hats are a pack of low lives, exiles, and three-time losers. Some of them still have prices on their heads. But that's not the interesting part, though. Go on. Turns out their boss is none other than Ulysses Booth. Oh, an old friend of yours? Hardly. He used to work for Lucas Miles before, well, you know. Last time I saw Booth, I broke his nose. Charming. Anyway, I'm gonna find that gorilla by looking in on all his hangouts. I'm told he likes McCoy's here. Swift Jimmy's bar, the Cloud Nine Cat House, and the Shanghai Dance Hall. My, my, this Booth fellow is a man of refined tastes and culture. I'm surprised you two don't get along. <laughs> all these dives are packed in pretty tight to discourage people like me with planes and bombs. But that doesn't mean I can't take in the autogyro. You're flying gyros now? Let's just say I borrowed it from an old friend. That gyro's no match for any black hat planes that might be in the area. Better to stay in crowded spaces where your gyro's tight turning is an advantage. Do you care about me or the plane? 
Mm, just the information that Booth might have. I plan on landing and having a little chat with the rat. I'm gonna find out what he knows about our cruise, whether he likes it or not. I see. And what would you have me do while you're out pretending to be Errol Flynn? Just sit here and guard the Zeppelin? Well, that's right. And let's get this straight, sister. Errol Flynn pretends to be me, not the other way around. <laughs> 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 Laugh it up, gorgeous. I'll see you when I get back. Zachary out. Pandora, I found Boo. Stay on him. Like white on rice, sister. Hey, Zachary, remember me? I remember the smell. Oh, great, those shoes, Zachary, is mad at me. Tell me, fellas, I'm scared. Tell me, Boo, what's an illiterate two-timing crumb like you doing running a gang in Skyhaven? Learning you some manners, boy, that's what Prepare yourself for a proper thrashing. I knew I should have stayed in my bunk. That's the spirit. Behind you, enemy, six o'clock. Go on, what a pig. I've got the jump. This one's full of sport, is. Those 
Don't know about you, but I've had plenty for one day. Swan? Say good night, Booth. What was that all about? That? Nothing. Just making our guest uncomfortable. Boss! It's the Black Hats! I had them on the radio. They want to know what you want with Booth. Well, that was fast. Not too surprising, considering half of Skyhaven saw you shoot Booth down. Mm, patch it through, Sparks. This is Ace Dixon of the Black Hat Squadron. Listen here, Zachary. Keep your trap shut, Dixon. Here's the deal. You give us our cruise and I give you Booth. This is how it's going to happen. In 15 minutes, I'm going to drop off Booth under the Devil's Horn where we can keep an eye on him. When I do, you'll radio the location of the Fortune Hunter and Black Swan crews. When we confirm that our crews are safe, we'll let you pick up Booth. Any funny business and they'll have to put Booth in a pine box with a strainer. Don't be late. Do you really think you can trust the Black Hats, boss? No further than I can throw them. But the Devil's Horn isn't the easiest place to get to, so it should buy us some time to confirm that the crews are where the Black Hats say they are. When we find the crews, I'll dock wherever they are and make sure they're okay. Then we'll return to the Pandora. Nathan, our crews combined are almost a dozen. How do you plan on rescuing that many people? I have no idea. Now, if you excuse me, I've got a rat to deliver. Zachary to Pandora. Operation Garbage Dump is underway. Roger that, sir. Try not to get your hands dirty. Over. <laughs> very funny, wise guy. Very. Ah, there's the nose again. Not the nose. I'm sorry. I'll shut up. That's a good boy. <laughs> What's the matter, Booth? Afraid I'd drop you without a shoot? Okay, you weasels. You've got your boss back. Now, where's my crew? <laughs> They're tied up in the cargo zeppelin at the dry dock. They've been right under your nose all along. What? You heard them, Swan. Let's get a move on. Oh, and you better hurry. You tease. 
You know how I enjoy dangerous stunts. Complete. We're going inside to find our crews and untie them. Swan, you keep the hats busy until I'm done. You got it! Boss, it's Sparks. The black hats are ganging up on the black swan pretty bad. I'll be there in a minute. 
Hang in there, Swan. Nathan, I'm having problems. Control's not responding. Bail out, Swan. We'll find you. Don't worry. Forget about me. Nothing you can do here. Oh, no! She's down, Skipper! The hats are all over her! Sparks, this is Zachary. Our crews are airborne. Thanks for the save, Cap. That would have been the end of us. Thank heaven! I thought I'd never see you guys again. Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but we've got some war hawks coming in on the Pandora. Let's give them black cats the whole works, gang. Boss, the war hawks are carrying something. Are those extra fuel tanks? Torpedoes! Boss, they've got aerial torpedoes! Calm down, kid. Don't lose your head. Get Pandora's turrets firing. Focus on the torpedoes. Roger. Pandora turrets open fire. That goes double for everyone else. Shoot down the aerial torpedoes. Just one of those packs enough punch to rip open a gas you guys did it! I thought I was a goner for sure! Don't start celebrating so soon. It's about time you made it to the party, Zachary. The boys and I were thinking you might not show. Ace Dixon? Damn! How many times do I have to shoot you down to get rid of you anyway? Come and get me, pretty boy, if you can. Ooh, that hurt. I'm okay. Watch out for those guns!
That doesn't make any sense, Jack. I know, but it's true. They didn't know you were gonna rescue us, so they bragged to us about everything. Cap, the Black Cats are planning to hit Blake so hard, it'll put him out of business. Permanently. Hell, with all the aerial torpedoes they got stored in their Skyhaven headquarters, their attack on Blake is gonna be more of a massacre than a robbery. The only reason they kidnapped all of us was to keep us out of their way until their caper went down. Cap, they really got Blake's number this time. They kept going on and on about some kind of inside information. And now they've got the Black Swan as well. Yeah. Boss, we're all real sorry. Well, thanks. All right, now, listen up. We're going after those rats. But first we gotta make a little visit to their headquarters. If they didn't take all the aerial torpedoes with them, there'll be some left over for us here on the loading dock. We need to hit them hard and quick. Once we're clear, Sparks will maneuver the Pandora into position over the dock and start loading. You got it, boss. While Sparks is busy, Jack and I are going to rescue the Black Swan. The main entrance to the mansion is an arrestor hook system that runs along the roof of this hangar. The main entrance should be heavily defended, so we'll need to eliminate any turrets before attempting to duck. Oh, thanks, Cap. This'll be fun. I owe them hats a few bruises. Once I've rescued the Swan, we'll launch. Then it's time to shut the Black Hats down. Hit those buildings with everything we've got. I want them to feel it, you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And don't forget to keep an eye on the Pandora in case they try any counterattacks. Any questions? Good. We'll launch in 50.
so Sparks can move the Pandora into position. Sparks, the area is clear. Move the Pandora into position and grab those torpedoes. You got it, Skipper. Moving the Pandora now. Well, that's the last of them. You ready, Jack? And waiting. Launch. Hey, it's a party. Let's see how tough these black hats are when the odds are fair. We need to keep those Warhawks away from the Pandora. Status report. Halfway done, boss. I'll be out of here in no time. Wait a sec. Boss, I've got movement on the loading dock. Looks like turret trucks just came out of that hangar. On the fort, Jack. I'm going to find the Black Swan. Got it. Be careful, Cap. What's happening, Jack? I'm nervous. Over. Don't know, Sparks. I can't see anything from here. Wait. 
I see him. And black swans with him too. Why that son of a... Sound the alarm. The prisoners escape. They're leaving the main hangar. Watch that defensive fire. They've stolen a Warhawk. Stop them. Thanks for the lift, Nathan. Nice plane. Is it new? This thing? <laughs> I just found it hanging around.
Sparks, status. Our scouts just found the Black Hat Zeppelin. She's on an intercept course with Blake Aviation Convoy, and we're right on their tail. Over. Hey, boss, tell me again why we're helping out Paladin Blake. He's never been nothing but a sore spot for us. And this is exactly the kind of beating that would put Blake Aviation Security out of business and out of our hair forever. Uh, sorry, Jack, but something's not right here. This massive plan to massacre Blake is way out of Booth's League. He's not that smart. Now, someone's pulling his strings, and I want to find out who. So, what about Blake and his boys? They sure won't be happy to see us again. True. But they'll learn to love us. <laughs> I want everyone to focus only on the Black Hats. Shoot down as many as you can. Let Blake see we're on his side. So even if Blake Aviation planes fire on us, we can't return fire? That's right. Eventually Blake will see whose side we're on, I hope. And once he does, we'll need to help him protect the convoy from those torpedoes. When the convoy is safe, we'll turn on the Hat Zeppelin. Once we torture, the remaining airborne Black Hats will be up a creek. We launch in five! Pirates helping pirate hunters. Holy gosh, what is this world coming to? Fast the 
last torpedo plane. I should see me white bacon, Chakri. Although I have no idea what angle you're working. Thank me later. The Black Hat Zeppelin is moving into firing position. We need to take her out before her broadsides blow your cargo Zeppelin to bits. Let me at you! I fly a cryo to pieces! Don't even bother trying to bail out either! I'll pop that stew like a soap bubble! Dixon, old boy, the only thing you've popped is you cook. That's one gas bag down! Blake, you're not listening. Lucas Miles is still alive. I thought I put that backstabbing fox out of his misery last year over Cuba. But when me and the fortune hunters looted the Black Hat's mansion in Skyhaven, we found out that Miles is alive and well, and 
pulling the strings of Sacred Trust and the Black Hats gang from a swanky Manhattan skyscraper. I wouldn't believe you for a minute if I hadn't seen them fighting together only moments ago. But it does explain how those Black Hat boys knew when and where to hit our richest shipments. As Snake Miles was getting our client shipping schedules and cargo manifest delivered to his doorstep like a damn morning paper. Swell little racket. Wish I'd thought of it. You pick out which cargos were rich, tell the Black Hats where and when to strike. No wonder they were clobbering us. So, when are we going to New York? We? <laughs> a pirate helping Paladin Blake? Without me. Common enemies make strange bedfellows, but it looks like you could use the help. This has nothing to do with me, Nathan Zachary. Something's eating you. Blake, if you talk less and shot more, maybe we wouldn't be in this part. It's the innocents, isn't it? Miles and his gang are butchers. It's all that unnecessary killing that's really eating at you. I've heard stories, Zachary. What do they call you, the gentleman pirate? Is it true you once shot down one of your own pilots for strafing innocent bystanders? I said you talk too much, Blake. See you in Manhattan. You can't con me, Nathan Zachary. There's hope for you yet. Redemption is... Is that guy a preacher or a pilot? All right, crew, here's the skinny. One of Blake's undercover men, some gumshoe named Cabby, found out where Miles is stashing part of his loot. This is the break we've been waiting for, a chance to expose those stolen goods to the authorities and show everyone what a snake Miles really is. What do you mean, we, Cap? Should Blake and Empire State be all over this? Blake's doing his best, Jack, but he's getting buried in government red tape. Think about it. He's got to convince President LaGuardia that the Empire State's number one security firm are a bunch of double-dealing pirates. It could take days, but we don't have the time. Miles has his boys here, loading everything into a German freighter bound for Berlin in the morning. Blake may have to follow the law, but we don't. It's up to us to stop them, but it won't be easy. Why do we have to do everything? I'm still aching from my last oh. mission. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, Jack. I'm going in there alone. What? Yeah, if we fly there in full force, the whole country will be on to us. No better that I rendezvous with Cabby in the air over Manhattan quiet-like. But, Chief, ain't Manhattan crawling with sacred trust goons? That's right. But Cabby says he can get me to that warehouse unannounced. Something about a shortcut. When I get there, I plan on taking out the warehouse and sinking that boat where it floats. A party like that ought to bring the cops running. <laughs> I'd pay money to see them two timers try to explain how a sacred trust owned warehouse got full of stolen loot. Once I'm finished, I'll head back to the Pandora. Keep your eyes peeled for cops and the Broadway boys while I'm gone, all right? Roger that, Chief. See you when you get back. Right, I'll manage somehow. <laughs> I got five bucks. Says you can't keep up, pretty boy. You're on, wise guy. Now, are we gonna stand here chatting all day, or are we gonna fly? <laughs> Follow me if you can. Come on, 
cabbie. I'm falling asleep back here. Give me a challenging one next time, will you? Well, I'll be. You feel a windy hot shot? Right behind you, Gabby. I thought for sure you wouldn't make that one. You'll have to do better than that to lose me, Gabby. What do you know? Pretty boy can fly after all. You still with me, hot shot? Right behind you, Kathy. Better than that to lose me, Captain. Doors are closed. Looks like I'll have to blow the moment. Showy cat, ain't ya?
Listen up. Looks like our little stunt at the warehouse made somebody real nervous. Don't tell me. Miles turned himself in. We should be so lucky. No, Miles is still incognito. But one of his top men got cold feet and made a break for it. This morning he booked a cabin aboard the Arcadia, a luxury Zeppelin heading for Germany. So who is this big shot anyway? One of his aces? Hardly. His name is Waldo T. Carney. He's Sacred Trust's accountant. <laughs> An accountant? Well, how do you like that? What's he gonna do, audit Miles to death? <laughs> <laughs> 
close. Carney has access to Sacred Trust's books. He knows enough to blow this whole thing wide open. Sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've got Mr. Blake on the radio. Something's going down. Something big. Put him through, Spugs. Zachary, it's Blake. We've got problems. Somehow Miles found out that Carney is on that zap. The Black Hats are attacking it right now. Let me guess. We're right in the neighborhood? Not exactly, but we've already set up three precincts, and they've all been shot down. Those Black Hat pilots are good. We're trying to muster more planes to the scene, but we're running out of time. Zachary, we need your help. If you don't get out there and save that pencil push your scrawny butt, he's gonna fly. Consider it done. Appreciate it. Now, once you nab that boy, bring him to the top floor hangar and police headquarters downtown. It's the only place you'll be safe. I'll be there waiting. Understood. Zachary out. Never a dull moment in this town, eh, boss? Yeah, you can say that again. Sparks, set an intercept course for the Zep. Gang, let's get to it. The fortune hunters pinching an accountant? It's embarrassing. Oh, 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 easy, Tex. We can't always rescue movie stars and millionaires. Nathan Zachary and the Fortune Hunter. We're here to help. Thank God. These butchers came out of nowhere. It is real hard. No demands or anything. Long story, Captain. Dang it.
guys, I've got Carney. Let's get him back to town in one piece. We're gonna die, aren't we? I know it! We're gonna die! Lie down, will ya? You'll make a date with the cops soon enough. Oh, dear. No! Mayday, Mayday. Coastal Patrol, this is Airship Arcadia. We are going down. Repeat, we are going down. We have to... Say, well done. You're popular, aren't you? Here come some more of your pals. Oh, I should have stayed in Chicago like my mother told me. I've never had any problems like this with Capone. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Trust plan. Looks like Lucas is plenty sore with you. Attention, pirate. That sacred trust property you're carrying. Turn him over now. Up can do, boys. <laughs> Mr. Carney's got a date with the police commission. Damn. Get him, boy. Are you just jumping clear? Oh my god, oh my god! Nothing a little paint can't fix up. That's the way to do it. Watch it. That's live fire. Okay, Waldo. You can let go of me now. We're safe. Oh, dear Lord. This would be better than this. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Now get out of my place.
Say, things are starting to get interesting around here. So, Black Swan finally came to her senses and realized her love. <laughs> Keep dreaming, Jack. No, our little canary Waldo sang for the cops. Turns out he wasn't the only one heading for greener pastures. Old Waldo coughed up the locations of three sacred trust cargo zeppelins. According to Waldo, Miles had his goons load these zeps full of loot while we were busy fetching him. They're getting ready to run for the hills as we speak. They scatter like cockroaches when they hear us fortune hunters are in town. <laughs> All right, now here's the plan. Blink figures they'll head to international airspace to try and ditch the law. So we have to cripple as many of those Zeps as we can in order to recover the loot and use them as evidence. Remember, the more evidence we have against Miles, the longer he stays in the slammer. Got it? Aye, aye, yes, sir. Sir. And that means you, Jack. Burnt evidence doesn't do Blake any good in court, you know. Hey, can I help it if I'm good at blowing things up? <laughs> Not since I've known you. Now, let's get to work. Oh, 
life, Pally. I'm feeling this tar tail. Keep up the pressure. 
Get this, gang. Looks like we finally get to take it easy for a change. President LaGuardia has invited us all to a big soiree in beautiful downtown New York. A high society ball on the top floor of the Lang Tower. <laughs> Looks like you sorry mugs are heroes. I just wish we didn't have to wear these monkey suits. I feel like a dope in this. You look like one too, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now listen up. I'm only gonna say this once, see? I want you clowns on your best behavior tonight. Aww. That's right, no spike in the punch, no joy rides with the senator's wives like last time, and absolutely no... Boss! Boss! You you should really pick up the radio! It's Blake belly aching about us being late, tell him to go soak his head. <laughs> it's not Blake, Skipper, it's Lucas Miles. Put him through, Sparks. Good evening, Nathan. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Skip it, Lucas. What do you want? What do I want? I want satisfaction. You've ruined a lot of hard work, Nathan. You know that, don't you? And you could have been a part of it, too, if you had the spine. Ah, but you couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? Had to come back. You had to spite me. Well, I think a little payback is in order. What on earth are you up to, Miles? I'm talking about payment in blood, Nathan. My pound of flesh, if you will. As we speak, my men and I are over the streets of Manhattan, sending as many of its fine residents to their maker as possible. What? That's right, Zachary. And it's all your fault. And how do you figure that? You pushed me too hard, Nathan. You know me. Someone pushes, I push back. It's as simple as that. So consider this mayhem and murder of the innocents. Your reward for all your hard work. Congratulations. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm killing to tend to. Oh, that son of a... Captain, tell me we're gonna do something. Something real bad to that fruitcake. Damned right we are. Everybody, get to your planes. It's high time we finish this. Once and for all. Up, everybody. Who knows what kind of a trap we're flying into? Attention, Black Hat fighters! There's the Pandora! Rip it out of the sky! We got company, Skipper! Black Hat fighters inbound! Fortune Hunters, give them the business. Gang. Let's take it down. Aerial torpedoes are cleared to fire. Ah, what took you so long, Zachary? And you brought your merry men, too. I see. Good, good. I want you all to experience this. It's about time you crawl on your rock, Miles. Why don't you come on out and fight like a man? Because he's a lily livered sissy. That's why. You can't be serious. Sorry to break the 
news to you Boy Scouts, but King Arthur and Chivalry are both dead. No, I'm going to stay right here and blow you all to hell. Safe and sound, of course. Don't count on it, son. The Dante's almost crippled, fellas. Give her all you got. You already botched your first chance to kill me, Zachary. This time, it's my turn. get done with you, you'll wish you were dead. That was an easy one. And wait until the next one. Ooh, you were lucky. 
Copy that, Tom. Just not good enough, Zachary. You'll never be good enough to beat me. Playtime's over, Zachary. It's time to get serious. But first, let me drop a bit of excess baggage. <laughs> By the way, I lied about giving her this parachute. Damn it, woman, let go! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Lana got her parachute after all. Never underestimate a woman, Miles. Shut up, Zachary. That woman almost took out my eyes. I'm bleeding. <laughs> She's got spunk, I'll give her that. Anyway, now it's just you and me, Zachary. Shall we? Shoot out your fuel tanks, and you'll burn, Zachary. Burn like I did over Cuba. On your left, bogey at 9 o'clock high. On your left, bogey at 9 o'clock. Watch out, bandit at 9 o'clock low. You had your chance to kill me. Now it's my turn. When you get to hell, tell him Nathan Zachary sent you.
listen to me, son. You need to think about your future. Now that you're becoming respectable again, Zachary, you need a place to settle down. You need the right friends to help you start fresh. Thanks to this whole sacred trust affair, Blake Aviation's getting more customers than ever. We're hungry for good pilots, Zachary. We pay well, and we're willing to forget past mistakes. Sorry to disappoint you, old boy, but me and my crew are already spoken for. What? You've been hired out already? Who are the lucky devils? Let's just say I have a hot date with a tall, beautiful dame in, uh, Canada. Sparks, I'm getting an awful lot of interference on this frequency. See what you can do about it. Yes, sir. Zachary, don't you cut me off again. I want you. If our paths cross again, I will show you no mercy. I will... Now you can patch me through to you-know-who. Already done, sir. She's on the private channel. Appreciate it, Sparks. Swan? Nathan? Ready for our next business venture, partner? Don't sweet-talk me. I heard what you told the old man. I know, I know. We decided on the diamonds and chili. But I've been thinking, what if that archaeologist was right? Mr. Zachary, may I remind you the man's in a sanitarium? True, but according to his findings, the goddess is at least 30 feet high and made of solid gold. I must tickle your fancy, even just a little. Mm, I don't know, Zachary. I had my heart set on diamonds, and I can be very stubborn. We can settle this with words or actions. If you won't reconsider, I will be forced to initiate a boarding action. Mm, winner takes all. The usual terms and conditions? Commencing tonight at, uh, say, eight? No promises, pirate. But I am thinking your chances have just improved.